All right, so um, hey, I thought I'd do a little video here to talk about Zulip, which is a tool that I'm checking out. I'm using it with my classes this semester. Um, it might be the answer for um, you know that sweet spot between chat, the discussion group, and email. Um, and I've been traditionally using emails. Um, I've been using emails for class communication. It's just a simple mailing list, a Google group. Um, but I've tried Piazza. I've tried uh, Slack. Slack worked well over the summer. Um, uh, when I use it with the teacher training program, the teacher certification program, um, but Slack had a couple of issues, and I'll talk about them um, with respect to Zulip. But uh, but I um, I found Zulip, and I like it for a few reasons. One is like Slack, it has a free tier, so you can just uh, use it on um, you know on Zulip servers, and it's it's similar to Slack. It's um it's got uh, the it, the integrations are not nearly as good, but it makes up for it in other areas. Um, but what I also like is you can self host it. You you can host it on your own machine, take the open source code, uh, so, um, set it up, um, and then you can run it yourself and you have all the history of full control over it. And um, and that was a big sell for me. But, but the real reason um, that I'm liking it, and uh, let's take a look here. This is the Linux client. It's got clients for everything, Linux, Mac, Windows. Um, and it's got you know mobile you know iOS Android etc uh, you know web based client um, but the real reason I liked it is um you know uh, Slack had two problems one is um, we couldn't afford or I couldn't afford for the pay version and two Slack uh, it has threads and threading is important and that puts Slack let's say in my book over Discord for use with my classes. Um, but the the threading model for Zulip to me is it seems to make so much more sense. And so let me show you a little bit about how you can use it. Um, so first, this is the client, and um, first it looks kind of like Slack. It looks a little bit different, but over here we have streams, and streams are kind of like um, you can think of streams like uh, channels in Slack. Um, and uh, you know you can have private messages etc so here are private messages some private messages will happen automatically like a notification bot um, this is a little sample slack i set up i'm going to ultimately invite teachers in my teacher certification program to it um, but for now it's just me under my um, my two accounts my personal email and my hunter email just to demo it um, and then i've got a couple other ones i've got one here for closurian for closure and this is the one i'm using with my undergraduate computer science students um, so you know you you can always you know here are the users you can invite more um, you can set things so all sorts of settings well these are my personal settings um, so some of the settings you can do is uh, you can set all of your um, your alerts. Do you want to get emails for whenever something happens on a stream? Do you just want to, you know, like what type of alerts do you want to get? Um, you know, it has other, you know, Anyway, you know, people can check these out in general. Um, but what I meant to choose are the organization settings. So you can do things like prevent users from changing their name, who can create new streams, uh, you know, things like, you know, who can set up custom emojis. So if you're using this with a class, um, you can have a lot of freedom. So, for example, if I wanted to create a stream, um, I could create a new stream. I can even type one here. Let's say I'm teaching uh, a CS0 course and there isn't a stream there. I can just hit plus and I can, you know, create it public, private, etc. And I have a new stream. Let's make another one for CS1 and let's create that stream. You know, now we have those streams um, and I'm the only person on, on Zulip, so it's you know not that interesting. Um, I can check my private messages. Um, uh, and let's look at the stream. So in the general stream, and this is where, you know, so I can start, I can click on it, and it looks a lot like Slack, but the difference is it's got these topics. These are like, these are your threads. And at first it looks intermixed. So I've got, you know, Simpsons quotes. I've got, you know, if I scroll up, uh, the swimming turtles it comes with. Um, you know, has emojis, you can have, you know, et cetera. Um, you know, so, but, but here is the, 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 sorry, the turtle stuff, then the Simpsons stuff, then the turtle stuff, and it's all intermixed. But I can say, I want the turtle stream. And now I just see that one. I want the Simpsons quotes. Or if I'm looking at all of it, I can click here to get it in the same way. So if I want to respond to a thread, to a, um, a topic within them, that's just another one that I made, I can come here and I can just click on the message I want to respond to. And 
you, know, you can even like click here. I mean, it, it, but it'll come on the same thread, and you know, like they live 100 years, you know, whatever. And boom, it goes there. And this is a really nice organization. Um, or I can go to Simpsons quotes, or I, I can go here to this new stream, and I can, you know, I can do something like say, um, oh, I don't know, um, you can't kill Duffman. Only the actor that plays Duffman, and it's Duffman. And of course, this supports, you know, if you look at the, you know, the help here, it supports Markdown, so you can do math in it, you can do code in it, quotes in it, you know, uh, all the stuff that you'd expect to do in these types of clients. But I realized here that this doesn't belong here. This belongs in the Simpsons quotes. So I can just go over to here. I, I could delete it. Um, I can quote and reply it. Um, but I can also just edit here this here and just say this really belongs in Simpsons quotes. And so now, if I go to, I moved the wrong one. Okay, um, sorry. So let me let me move this back to. Swimming turtles. Okay, they live a hundred years. And did I? Okay, okay. Well, I I didn't put. Okay, I guess I did put this in the right place. But but this is a really 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 nice feature. Um, you know, this idea of these threads, so you can see everything at once, or you can see it at the level you want to see it. Uh, so you could create the stream here, and a stream events would be if somebody joins this stream, um, you would then get the stream event saying so-and-so joined it. But we can go in here and we can say, well, let's type in a new topic, which would be like um, uh, intro to Python. It's like, check out uh, this Python book, you know, or something like that. Um, and now that becomes a stream and people can add to it and you can use it very effectively. Uh, you know, so like what I'm doing is I'm using it in my classes where I'll have a stream to start out the day, uh, the class for the day and people can just, you know, add stuff and that'll just be the running dialogue. Um, but you know, after class, people can either add to that or they can start new threads or, you know, whatever. And if things get a little bit out of hand, you can always reorganize it. Um, you can also do things like you can set your email preferences. Like I can go here and um, I can set my stream settings and I can say, well, how do I want notifications specifically for this stream? And another thing that I haven't set up here yet um, is you can actually set, you can actually post to Zulip um, using emails as well. So, so I think this is really hitting the sweet spot, you know, and again, you know, like, like I really like this thread interface. Um, it really, it's hitting the sweet spot of being able to, um, you know, it's a chat system. So it's interactive, much like Slack. Um, but it also handles this threading really nice. So you can come in later and, you know, it shows you, like you can come up here, you know, you see all messages, or public streams, private streams, unread messages, uh, you know, like it, it makes it very easy. You can search and search, like um, look for I mentions. We can, um, in general, you know, so you can search for the things in the general for, um, stream. So you can search in a similar way, um, you know, like, like if I, let me click over here. If I click back here, I can search, you know, it's kind of similar to um, like a Google Mail search. You know, I can search for, well, the public streams, a certain topic, a certain stream, etc. So I'm liking this very much. Um, and you can see it's pretty easy to use. It looks, you know, again, it looks kind of like Slack, but it's got this really nice idea of of these topics within the stream, so these threads, um, and that makes it, to me, that makes it a lot easier to be organized. Um, you know, I wish I could show you the full one that I'm using with my classes, but you know, I, I want to you know, respect the privacy of, of the students who are posting there. Um, but I do recommend you check it out. Um, you know, it's like zulip.com. Um, I'm liking it a lot. I've um, I've migrated over to it for my undergraduate stuff. Uh, we'll probably migrate like the next teacher education cohort will move to it as well. Um, so yeah, uh, check it out. Um, 
you know, th this looks to be a winner. It looks like it might fit the bill of a combination of like, you know, instead of using like Zoom chat, which goes away after your class um, and Piazza for the forum and, you know, different tools for all these different things. Uh, this looks like it might uh, fit all of it. So, yeah, check it out.